Uh, Sam Roberts uh, got into the road after the Birmingham Solihull game, managed to grab a word with Mike Rea. Um Bit cold now, Mike, but uh, feeling good, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you targeted this game as, as a five-pointer, and um, there had been so much doubt about uh, uh, actually playing at the state of the pitch. And I mean, there's been a massive effort here this morning by, by a number of volunteers, too many to mention, and um, didn't think the game was going to go ahead. You know, there's periods through this morning when it was, we thought we were going to lose. We were yeah. we were winning a few battles in certain areas, and we thought we were going to lose the war at the end. But um, no, great outcome, and uh, you know, a game of rugby that um, we really didn't want to be clogging up the season with uh, later on so we're pleased we got it out of the way it was a bit um, what do you thought we got off the bus in the first five minutes we actually, actually <laughs> well, I thought you'd driven round yeah, somewhere driven around the bus <laughs> the way we started but um, oh, the boys got it back together we scored some good tries first half and, and, and went in with the lead and then second half down the slope um, you know, put the icing on the cake a little bit you know and it was a tough day at, the, at, the, at the office really I thought Birmingham were, were excellent they never gave up they tackled for their lives and um, they can certainly attack this side and, and they caused us a few problems at times but um Oh, it's pleasing, and uh, you know, apart from that first sort of ten minutes, we we haven't conceded a try. Well, first minute, really, we haven't conceded a try as well. So, you know, it was, it, you you can't beat live uh, live opposition and and um, all the training in the world. Um, there's no there's no better than, than being out there on a Saturday afternoon testing your defensive skills and uh, and, and honing your, your attack. How, how important was it that we we keep this momentum going? A home game now and two following home games. This is kind of the the start. We we kind of need a little bit of luck, if you like, that, right, that, that makes it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marco Cicciari just walking from the field there um, uh, how important was it we keep this the momentum going yeah definitely we spoke about all week was um, was was improving um, on a weekly basis and uh, you know I think we've done that again today you know started at Bristol really in our first half you know and then uh, progressed to London Welsh that, that win was important to us and you now we've backed it up today with a five pointer and um, that's pleasing um, we're still at the start of January still a long way to go um, in terms of the season but it's important we accumulate points and, um, as you say, look forward to two home games now off the back of, a, of another victory. Uh, elsewhere in the league, London Welsh beat Exeter. I don't know if you knew that, but uh, they beat them 12-10. Yeah. Um, would have been a nice chance to, to leap ahead, but it's, it's getting so competitive, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and, and, and that's only good, uh, goes well for the league, doesn't it? I think um, the quality of the championship is um, is excellent, and it just goes to prove wins are hard to come by. You know, we, as you say, we, we're obviously disappointed to slip up at Plymouth, Plymouth and now probably haunt us for the rest of the season but um, you know it does prove that the, that the wins are hard to come by and uh, you know you've got to make sure you, you turn up on the day with uh, with the right attitude right mentality and, 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 and right, right execution you know and that's what we've been guilty of at times throughout the course of the season is not our execution has let us down and it's not that we haven't been competitive I think we've been outplayed probably twice at, at most um, and um, you know so, so the, co- the competitive edge is there we, you know, as I say we just need to keep building and keep getting performances and and, and, and making sure we're finishing off some of the stuff we're creating. Well, enjoy tonight if you can. Have a few beers and enjoy it. I will do. Uh, Sam Roberts, after the game with uh, Birmingham Solihull, managed to gra- grab a word with Luke Fielding. Uh, how was that for you, Luke? Uh, quite enjoyable, I would have thought? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good game. I mean, I think we, uh, we let ourselves down early on. We didn't really uh, didn't really come out of the blocks as we had want- wanted. And, um, and it took us a little while to get into the game. We knew, that, we knew, we knew if we gave them a sniff that they'd, uh, you know, they'd f- fight for it all day. And thankfully... Uh, Second half of the first half, I thought we turned it round, and when we uh, when we managed to string some phases together, we we had him, uh, you know, we could it was literally scoring at will at times, but um, at times we didn't we didn't do that, and we tried to play a bit of sevens, and it 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 wasn't what we needed really. How important was it that this game go ahead and, and we we get that that win, that momentum building? I, I think massively. I mean, we we all wanted to play. I think after last week, you know, it was a it's been a really good buzz in training this week, and uh, I think we just want to want to want to keep going with that, um, and. Um, yeah, to, to come out again today and uh, put in another performance, get another win, you know, we just keep rolling on now. We've got Rotherham next week, so it's, a, it's another big big game. We'll have a, another big week in training. It's going to be a massive bat up front, I think, next week, so we've uh, got to prepare for that, but we'll be ready. Spirited home side playing away, as it were, in Birmingham, Solihull, and a little personal matchup. Do you enjoy going up against Patso occasionally? Yeah, yeah, no, I've, obviously I've played with Patso at Cambridge last year, and I'm, uh, I'm pretty good mates with him. I've, played, I've you know, been around the rugby circuit together for a little while, and uh, yeah, no, he's a good boy, so it's, uh, it's nice to see him on the... Uh, on the opposition for once and uh, be able to be able to give them a few digs and stuff. So. Well, I'm sure you'll enjoy tonight then with yeah, Patsy. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> enjoy tonight. Cheers, Thanks Luke. Thank much. you. Uh, Sam Roberts after the game uh, with uh, Chris Brightwell. Uh, Chris, enjoyable, I'm sure, for you. Uh, yeah, mate, it's a good one at home, but uh, way game in the city, but no, I was happy, happy to come away with it. Just a couple of tries as well, so it's good. Yeah, bo- bottle of champagne in your hand from the followers, yeah. that must be, uh, must be a good feeling. Yeah, mate, just uh, stoked to put on performance. Last couple of games I've been a bit scratchy, but finding my feet, so it's been good. 
Difficult personally from you, jetting in and around the world, sort yeah. of trying to get back in. I suppose you were very, very keen for this game to go ahead in more ways than oh, one. Definitely, mate. Just looking uh, to make an impression with the club and with the coaching staff as well. Uh, obviously, you know, it's not ideal me going every whenever, but just enjoying it, mate. You know, Mike's been really good and so is the coaching staff as well. We, we, we found you around the pitch a lot. Was there an extra little bit in your in your tank because of whom you were playing against? Uh, I guess so. I think there was a little bit, mate, but uh, the boys gave it back to me just as much, so I was just happy, man, come yeah. away with the win, yeah. And you're enjoying yourself in, in Blues colours at the oh, moment? Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. Well, hugely. Well, good, enjoy tonight. Uh, with a few beers with a few old mates and enjoy yeah. it. Cheers, mate, thanks for that.